what's up YouTube, in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on this Meguiar's Dub Wheel Cleaner. In today's demonstration we're going to use this wheel cleaner on a Lexus ISF rim and a Toyota Tundra rim. I plan on using this wheel cleaner without using a brush or agitating in any kind of way so all I'm going to do is actually just spray it on there and let it sit for the five minutes that's specified on the directions and we'll see what happens whenever I wash it away. After using this product we'll go over how the results came out and I'm going to go over what I liked and didn't like about this product. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the rim is not hot and it's cool to the touch. If it is hot for some reason you can spray it with the water hose and cool it down and make sure that it dries off and then begin applying the spray. Now the spray is a bright looking yellowish green color and what's supposed to happen is whenever it starts to break down the dust um, it's supposed to turn like a purplish red whenever it's ready to wash off but I'm going to spray it on and leave it on for five minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay so now the whole rim is sprayed and you can start to see some of that green transition into that reddish purplish looking color. It's kind of hard to tell on these wheels because they're like a gunmetal color so you won't be able to see them as, as good as a silver or brighter color rim. So remember I'm not physically touching the rim with any kind of brush or cloth or anything and you can start to see the brake does start to break down and run down the rim. So that's what that purplish looking stuff you can see um, that's falling onto the concrete there. Remember to leave it on there for three to five minutes and don't let it dry and get caked on there. So be sure to rinse it off as soon as you start to see it change color and it's within that five uh, minute mark there. Here's that Toyota Tundra rim. I'm going to do the same exact thing as I did on the Lexus rim. Alright, I got the dub cleaner all sprayed onto it now. Now we just sit and wait. It's been about three minutes on the Tundra wheel and you can start to see it change color now. Okay, now it's time to rinse off both wheels. Let's see what happens. Now I can already tell that I'm going to have some issues with probably the concrete getting stained by this color solution here, but we'll see what happens. But so far it does a really good job of uh, breaking down all the brake dust. You can see it all running off on the concrete down, down the driveway. But um, it looks really, really clean. We'll do a touch test in a little bit here. Now for the Tundra rim. Let's see what happens. You can really start to see that reddish purple stuff start to run off with the brake dust. And uh, it's doing a really good job cleaning the wheel for the most part. But like I said, we'll do a, a little rub test and touch up my finger and see if any brake dust comes off of it. Now for the finger rub test, we'll see if it's clean or if it's still dirty, and it is still dirty. Let's see the caliper. It's not too bad. Yep, I should have used my wheel brush, it would have came out way cleaner. Now for the Tundra, let's see if it's still dirty. And it's still dirty, you can see some of the brake dust on my finger. Let's try this inner part here, oh snap, that's jacked up. Long story short, I wasn't really pleased with the dub wheel cleaner, so I ended up going back with some Meguiar's car wash soap and I scrubbed the rims down myself and then detailed my whole car and armor all it down to give it a nice little sheen around the tires. I do have a bottle of Sonax and I'll do a review on that real soon. It's the only wheel cleaner that I know of that you don't even really have to agitate anything. You can just spray it on and wash it off and it cleans it off really really well. But if you want to check that product out I'll leave it in the link in the description below for you. So quick recap, this wheel cleaner doesn't really do a good job of breaking down the brake dust. You actually have to go back there and scrub it yourself. Another thing is it has a serious bright dye and if you don't rinse it off it will basically stain your driveway. And it does have a serious uh, smell to it. Um, so make sure wherever you use this product it's in a nice ventilated area so you're not breathing in all those harmful chemicals and fumes. So for $8 a bottle for this Dove wheel cleaner, I recommend you spend your money elsewhere. That's it for today's video. I hope this video helps you make an informed decision on whether or not you should buy this Meguiar's Dub wheel cleaner. Please comment below on which wheel cleaner you like to use on your vehicle. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, thank you all for watching.